Audi here. Check it out. Check it out. Got an Ibanez Gem 77P BPF, our blue floral, floral plat patent. Um, this is part of the Ibanez Premium Series. Um, it's made in Indonesia. And there's a lot of appointments on this guitar I want to kind of go over. Just when you look at it right off the bat, um, and you think about the gem, there's the, the white gem that's out there with the gold hardware. And then they got the gem junior that I think comes in pink, pink, yellow, and maybe white for the juniors. And then, um, you know, there's the gem that everybody thinks of, which is the, the green, yellow, and pink. And uh, even though those look awesome, they're just so bold, so in your face. So the, you look at this guitar, you know, you could, you know, be playing out somewhere and it's not going to be so, sh not to say shocking is not the right word, but it's just really subtle, even though there's, you know, blue, floor, blue flowers on it. But if you can see, it looks really, really nice. Uh, a lot of things to talk about. First of all, it's a basswood body. And the input jack is on the kind of like on the higher side here. Um, I think the reason for it is just so, you know, normally they're on the bottom. Maybe you're not going to step on your cord and pull your cord out while you're playing. And uh, that's what they've been doing since the beginning with the gems. It has the uh, the route out, and it's a tiger claw underneath the, underneath the uh, tremolo, so like a... <laughs> One thing that's great, even with the regular edges, uh, these things always stay in tune. Uh, this tremolo is a Cosmo Black Edge 02 tremolo. Um, really, really nice. I'm going to put a picture up so you can see it. But, uh, you know, when you, if you, anybody has a Floyd Rose or they even have the Edge tremolo, uh, a lot of times, if for some reason, if you had to set the intonation, it can be a real pain where you got to loosen the string and move it back and forth. But it seems that with this, and I'll put the picture up so you can see it, on the saddle where they have the screw to, to move back and forth if you had to do the intonation, it's right on the side. So you could actually put your Allen wrench down to unscrew it to move back and forth. So that's pretty good. I'm used to my other Ibanezes. I, you know, I have a lot of old RGs. Um... And, you know, it comes with the Edge Tremolo. And I, I, I love them for the Ibanez RG. Really good. It always stays in tune. And this is just as great, too. And it's very low profile. Like, um, on my other, you know, this is kind of recessed into the body. Um, my, my other RGs, I mean, I haven't, my RGs are from, like, you know, the uh, late 80s. And I got maybe a 91 or something like that on um, one of my RGs. But, you know, the the... The tremolo is is a, is a little higher, kind of flush, not flush with the body, but it's a little higher where this is kind of recessed. So, so when you play it, because a lot of times, uh, you know, if you you give a somebody who's who normally plays a Strat or a Les Paul, and you give them, you know, a guitar that has a Floyd Rose on it, they don't understand really how to put their palm on the tremolo without moving it. So this is. You're not gonna. It's not gonna go out where like a lot of times you'd hit somebody like. I mean, if we could try it, if it work on here. Because one time, um, I knew somebody who played a Les Paul and he wanted to use one of my Kramers or something, and it had a Floyd Floyd on it, kind of floated, and he just couldn't play it because he couldn't figure out how to put his palm on there. It was maybe I'm used to it, but I suppose if you've been playing a Floyd for a long time, it's not a big deal. But these are great. Um. It's so a clear plastic pickguard on here so you can see the whole look of the body. Um, blue volume knobs and toe knobs. And um, I don't think this is a particularly like a low friction, but this thing moves really, really. It just. So this is nice and easy. Um, got the Masrio pickups in here. The humbuckers are Gravity Storm. That's what they're called, Gravity Storm. And the coil is an Evolution. And it's a five-way pick guard. But with uh, these particular guitars... Oh, also, um, when I got this, I got it used. But it also came with all the case candy. It's one of these little tools that Ibanez has for wrenches, a screwdriver, 
um, all the little wrenches for adjusting things height. So it's a nice little tool that comes with it. Um, what I wanted to show was on this guitar, like a lot of the gem models that have a humbucker, single humbucker, I'll kind of go through the pickup configuration. So here's the sound of the regular humbucker in the bridge. But now when you move it to the second position, it splits the coil so it's the, I don't know if this would be considered the, yeah, the inner coil, I was going to say outer, the inner coil of the humbucker and then the middle. So, can you hear it here? Oh, got to turn the volume up. So we've got those two. Then you got the middle. And then when you move it to the fourth position, you've got the coil and then the inner coil of the of the neck. So you kind of hear those together. And then you just have the neck, which is a full hum. So, um, if you want, I'll uh, put it on clean. Okay, let's hear it clean. Bridge. So now I'm going to go with the inner coil of the humbucker in the middle. So that's second position. Second position. Just trying to find something that would sound like some chords that would sound nice with it. And then we got the middle, just the coil itself. That Nile Rogers stuff is so hard to play. I mean, it just that guy's picking hand is just amazing. With that. I wonder if he, I use I use very thick picks, but I wonder if I use his thin picks. Okay, so now um, we've got the coil, and then the I guess the inner coil of the bridge. Oh, go turn it up. Now just a bridge pickup. That sounds really nice. So those are for the clean parts. Okay, so, um, oh, on the body, um, I really don't know what you would call this. I mean, it's obviously the um, the heel, but it's uh, a little bit different than the other old RGs I have, where there's a neck plate, where it's just, you know, the four screws. I'm not sure what they really call this, where it's kind of molded and down. I'm sorry, I don't have the word, but uh, real comfortable in the back of your hand. And obviously, the way these are set up, you have com you know complete access up to the 24th fret. <laughs> The neck is a uh, maple and walnut neck and uh, five piece 
and this uh, nice two strips of um, walnut. And it's a really comfortable neck. Um, you know, you always hear me referencing, you know, a wizard neck. And those are the necks that came on those, you know, from like 87 to 91 and 92, maybe even 93, Ibanez RGs, where those necks were just so thin, but they just felt great. And um, this is very close to it because on some of the, even the 30th anniversary um, Genesis RGs, or even on the, the green and yellow gems that they have out there now, I've played those. Um, I'm actually going to do a video on one, but um, those necks are a little bit wider and they've got a little more meat to them. This is a really, really close feeling to an Ibanez Edge. I mean, excuse me, Ibanez Wizard neck. The um, fretboard is a blue tree of life. Really, really nice. Very comfortable, really comfortable neck. I mean, it's a complete different feel from, say, one of my Charvels or, or one of my Jacksons or even, even my Strats, but um, really nice. And uh, the thing that usually the, the gems, uh, you know, the green gem or the yellow gem, they'll have the from the 21st fret to the 24th fret scalloped. These aren't, um, but you can still grab them pretty easy. And another thing about this, I don't know if you can see it over here. I'll put a picture up so it's a little bit easier. On a lot of the older, you know, Ibanez RG's wizard necks, they were so thin. And before when you would put the, uh, the Floyd nut through, they used to have holes drilled in. You'd screw it in from the back. But since the necks were so thin, I think if peep, they were cracking a lot. So they decided to put a little more meat there. It's kind of like a loot. I, don't know, I think that's what you would call it. So it, it makes it a little more sturdier, and you don't really feel a difference when you're up here. It's, it's really nice. And um, one thing that's on here also, the truss rod cover, kind of hard to do with the strings on there, when you want to adjust the, um, if, you, if you have to adjust the neck, the truss rod cover underneath here just slides down. So it's, um, you know, a lot of times you have to unscrew them and move it and stuff, so this just slides down unless you get like a, a prestige where uh, there's no cover. Uh, the tuners are Ibanez, Cosmo Black. Uh, I'll try to put a better picture up in that. And here's the uh, headstock. But this is a really, really nice guitar. I think everything about it is, I, I don't want to use the term like subtle, but when you look at like, you know, the green or yellow gem, it's like in your face. It just gets so much attention. And this is just, it just looks great. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if it, if it comes across that great on camera, but you know, pretty much the back is black. And um, I believe this is a 2018, they're made in Indonesia. And um, I'll put a picture up of what it says in the back of the headstock. But this is just a great guitar. <laughs> stays in tune well I guess that's about it I think I've uh, kind of gone everything over in this guitar um, no they got these all over eBay and reverb um, I think brand new they're going for 16 um, I managed to get an incredible deal on this where um, I'd like to say it was even less than half price it came with a hard case all the candy and all kinds of things um, oh yeah with the bar a little bit different than your regular Ibanez edge tremolo where they just kind of go right in. They have the little rubber or plastic stoppers. This one just kind of goes in, screws in nice and easy. And like I said, it's, it stays in tune. Looks great, plays great. Um, I haven't played a, a Gem Junior. Um, that... They, they look cool, but, you know, it's just so, you know, it's white, pink, and yellow. And I think, I believe it has like a rosewood fretboard with the Tree of Life color is matching the guitar. So if you've got a yellow, I think it's a yellow Tree of Life. You've got a shocking pink, it's a pink Tree of Life. And then the white, it's white on the rosewood. Those are nice, but, uh, oh, and I forgot that the most important thing when you talk about a gem is the monkey grip. You know, just in case, you know, when you're, you're running off stage and people are chasing you, you really can control your guitar. But uh, I, I'm always amazed what they do on this. Excuse me if this thing's loud. Um, 
just with the way they paint inside here with kind of getting it in there. I'll try to get some pictures, but fit your hand. You know, and one of my other guitars, I think you saw a video I done a while ago um, on a kind of hybrid Skankenstein Kramer. Um, I cut my own little handle in there, kind of similar to the way the Ibanez it was an Ibanez gem, I think it was like an 88, the root beer model, or the root beer color, I think it is. It didn't have a monkey grip, it had more of a handle over here, and that's what I kind of did on mine, and did a horrible job with it, but, you know, I was young. But, like I said, the most important thing in this guitar is the monkey grip, so, you know, when you're running away from danger, or from the ladies after a big show. But, uh, either way, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, um... Email me or leave a comment below with anything I can answer for you. Um, please click and subscribe. Share with your family and friends. And uh, I'll get a short video out on this, playing some kind of a fun solo or something different. Um, but uh, great guitar. Looks awesome. Plays awesome. And uh, see you soon. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it.